the S400, S500 and the THOD, are easily among the most advanced air defense systems in the world. However one must remember, that it is never correct to compare one system to another without looking at the bigger picture. In the modern battlefield nothing works on its own. Any given asset or a system has a fixed role to play and it works in sync with the bigger network that will eventually help achieve the goal. So without further ado, here is the comparative analysis of US made THOD and Russia's S-400 and S-500 air defense systems. THOD is a relative recent addition to the United States anti-ballistic missile, interceptor tool kit. It entered production in 2008 and is primarily tasked with taking out threatening ballistic missiles in what's known as their terminal phase. It uses hit-to-kill technology to destroy enemy missiles by kinetic energy. How does it work? At stage 1, the radar detects and tracks ballistic missile threats. Then, an interceptor missile is fired towards the enemy projectile. In the final stage, the interceptor missile slams into the enemy missile, causing it to explode before it reaches its target. THOD system boasts a range of 200 km and fires its interceptors at speeds of up to 10,000 km per hour. It intercepts missiles at altitudes of up to 150 km. Any targets that slip to lower altitudes are intercepted by the Patriot defense system. The process is a very delicate one, and there is no room for any error. When an enemy missile re-enters the Earth's atmosphere also known as terminal phase, making it incredibly hard to intercept. THAD manufacturer Lockheed Martin boasted a 100% success rate in flight tests since 2005. On the other hand, S-400 is a heavy hitter with very long range. It most probably uses the most advanced interceptors for its anti-ballistic missile role. The S-400 was developed to defend Russian airspace and a few hundred kilometers further against missiles and aircraft of all types, including stealth jets. With a tracking range of 600 kilometers, and the ability to hit targets 400 kilometers away at a blistering speed of 17,000 kilometers an hour or Mach 14, the S-400 is truly a scary weapon. First deployed by Russia in 2010, each S-400 battalion has eight launchers, a control center, radar and 16 missiles available as reloads. The long-range expensive interceptors are not used for low-altitude targets, which are reserved to shoot down slow-moving but high-value targets like AWACS, fuel tankers and transports. The Russians find this approach of arming a single system with multiple interceptors most suitable for their needs. The S-500 is expected to be much more capable than the current S-400. Its response time is only 3 to 4 seconds. The S-500 would be able to detect and simultaneously engage up to 10 ballistic supersonic targets flying at a speed of 7 km per second. It also aims at destroying hypersonic cruise missiles and spacecraft at speeds of higher than Mach 5. The altitude of target engaged can be as high as 200 km. It is effective against ballistic missiles with a launch range of 3,500 km. It makes the system capable of defeating ballistic missiles before their warheads re-enter atmosphere. The system will have new radio communication equipment that are unrivaled in terms of quality, data transmission distance and stealth. Five batteries of S-500 missiles are planned to be in service by 2020. The S-500 will work with S-400 and will replace the older S-300 air defense missiles. Each of the above systems have their own strengths and weaknesses. The Russians could certainly overwhelm THOD in a concentrated attack while the US could overwhelm S-400 and S-500, given that the US has much more advanced assets like B-2, F-22 and F-35 specifically designed to penetrate and destroy air defenses. In addition data from all US sensors are increasingly being networked, and fused into a common picture of the airspace, that is used to then target weapons from a huge number of stealth assets. 
both systems would probably acquit themselves well, but in a real-time scenario the scales are really tipped in one direction. What do you think which system is better, please let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe and like buttons and check out our other videos. Thank you.